It's a race to celebrate the Day of Giving, but it was quickly spoiled by greed. Tonight, organizers of the Cincinnati Thanksgiving Day race are making changes so folks don't walk away with boxes of snacks for hungry runners like they did last year. Night on Your Side's Jay Warren talked to one runner who thinks he knows how the chaos started. This Thanksgiving week, runners, joggers, and walkers are heading to the running spot in O'Brienville to pick up the race number and shirt. But this year's excitement comes after last year's disappointment for longtime organizer Julie Ishverding, who explained that some runners stole food. I was going to resign last year after the event. It, it, was, um, it was such a kind of a sad way to end the race for me. But she had a change of heart, and with a little reorganization, the problems of last year, she says, will be gone. The exciting part about this year is we took a negative and turned it into a really cool positive. For the first time ever, we're going to have the Red Kettle Salvation Army Kettle Campaign kickoff. So lots of ringing bells in the kettle at the finish line to encourage a change, to bring change to the event. And the crowd headed towards the food will be better managed, too. All the food is going to be lined up on Elm Street with bike racks so that you can funnel in with a snake line this year. While Isferding explains there was stealing, some runners explained they were actually told by a young volunteer to take as many meal bars as they wanted. With the leadership of Julie Ishberding, I'm sure that whatever confusion happened last year regarding the food distribution is going to be corrected this year. Krista Powers is development director with the Alzheimer's Association, which is supplying volunteers, and says the event is a great way to support local charities. We come, we interact with people who are just joyful, ready for something fun to do on Thanksgiving Day and, and be part of the community. And that's Jay Warren reporting. If you want to run the race and you haven't signed up yet, online registration is still open. And they will accept runners up until 9 Thursday morning.